Hi, I'm Meredith Harris with the Marlboro Economic Development Corporation, also known as MEDC, and I'd like to welcome you to this month's edition of our virtual newsletter geared towards keeping everyone informed about all of the city happenings here in Marlboro, Mass. I'll go over business news, school news, and overall city news for the past few months, as well as fill you in on exciting events and opportunities coming up right here in Marlboro. Over the past two months, the MEDC and the City of Marlboro have been busy enjoying the summer weather while also trying to dodge a decent amount of rain. Here at the MEDC, we welcome Jason Palich, Executive Director of the 495 Metro West Partnership, back for another episode of Exploring Economic Development with MEDC. Jason gave updates on the I-90-495 Interchange Project, as well as the long-awaited 290 Ramp Improvement Project. We also dug into the funding behind the pop-up shops and the importance of regional advocacy for issues such as infrastructure and housing. If you missed this episode, make sure to check the replay by clicking on the link below. In July, we were excited to welcome the one and only Santa Claus to downtown Marlboro for our Christmas in July event at the pop-up shops. We had local artist Patrick St. Pierre join us for face painting, Adam Makes Noise performing live, photos with Santa, and four local vendors to complement the city's farmer's market hosted by La Chou. Thank you to everyone that joined us, and if you have not yet done so, please make sure to support our local artists and vendors by checking out the sheds downtown. And while you're at it, snap a quick selfie with the butterfly and hashtag Marlboro Pops Up to be entered into a weekly raffle. We were also excited to see a partnership come to fruition through our school to business programming. Marlboro-based IT company Technium and Marlboro Public Schools announced the launch of Technium Cyber Camp a career pathway program for seniors of Marlboro High School to obtain a certificate in the networking field while developing business knowledge and gaining industry connections. If you are a local employer interested in this type of programming, please reach out. In business news, we were excited to see several Marlboro-based companies growing, being recognized, and celebrating. We were excited to see the Alta Marlboro project get started with Wood Partners clearing their site at the corner of Lincoln and Mechanic Streets and moving along with demolition. Right down the street, we saw another exciting proposal for the Armory. Developer George Viazza submitted plans to convert the Armory into 17 residential units with parking on site. To learn more about either project and how they will contribute to the revitalization of French Hill, please click on the links below, or visit the city's developer communications page where all planning and site documents with accurate and up-to-date information can be found for larger scale projects in the city. We saw leadership changes for Theracos Bio, Crossroads Continuum, and IPG Photonics, while Marlboro Hospital CEO Steve Roach was named the new board chair of the Corridor 9 Chamber of Commerce. In big business, Raytheon signed a $625 million contract with the Air Force to help control nuclear forces by building satellite communication terminals, while Boston Scientific received FDA approval for abnormal heartbeat treatment, and Rewalk announced plans to grow the company with the acquisition of Alter-G. For small and local business, we were excited to see Chase Bank one step closer to opening as their special permit was approved by the City Council. While Valari's Martial Arts and Wellness, one of North America's oldest and largest martial arts schools, announced a new owner and head instructor, Mark Graposo, for their Main Street location. UMass Memorial Marlboro Hospital was joined by Mary Vigent to celebrate the opening of their on-site free library to help boost literacy in the community. And last but certainly not least, Word on the Street spearheaded a fun and free Where's Waldo scavenger hunt throughout the city, alongside 24 other local businesses. Winners received a variety of prizes and everyone that participated was thrilled to actively engage with and support our local businesses. In city news, the farmer's market has been active on Saturday mornings hosted by La Chou with a variety of vendors, crafters, local artists, guest appearances by authors, a sign language instructor, zoo animals, and a puppeteer. The summer concert series had many residents moving and grooving on Thursday nights, and we were thrilled to see so many people enjoying our local breweries during the show. Mayor Vigent was spotted at a few different locations this summer, celebrating the completion of several city projects with the Department of Public Works. The deck hockey rink at Galoni Park is now open. We have new signs in the downtown welcoming visitors and residents alike, and the staircase connecting the downtown and the Devon Street neighborhood is now open. The mayor was also joined by city and state officials to thank Congresswoman Lori Trahan for federal funding that helped to rehabilitate the Sligo water tank. And a few weeks later, we welcomed Executive Office of Housing and Livable Communities Secretary Ed Augustus to celebrate several projects completed through a CDBG grant that was awarded in 2020 and extended through 2023. 
The MWRTA announced that their Catch Connect program will be expanding in Marlboro, providing on-demand curb-to-curb service with easier access to existing bus stops. WMCT-TV hosted a week-long youth stop-motion animation class in July, and the city goats were back on the scene to help eradicate invasive plants and poison ivy near the entrance of the Cider Knoll Conservation Area. Lastly, the Rec Department hosted a movie in the park at Kelleher Field, and the library is officially on the move. The temporary library space at the Walker Building has been closed as the team prepares to open in the new library space over the next few weeks. But have no fear, virtual library services are still available. Mayor Vigent was honored at the 30th annual Mass Econ Summer Reception for his many years of driving economic development not only in Marlboro but through the state. While firefighter Lazat and Captain Clemmer retired after serving a combined 60 plus years in the city of Marlboro. In school news, Mayor Vigent awarded five MHS graduates the city scholarship, while classmate Isaac Lazas launched a sneaker drive to help ensure his classmates have access to new and cool sneakers for the start of the school year. Isaac partnered with the Marlboro Community Cupboard and the United Way to set a goal of collecting 300 sneakers this summer. Way to go! At AMSA, construction kicked off for the first phase of their campus renovation project. The parking lots behind the upper school and the white building are being connected to allow traffic to loop around the perimeter of AMSA's property, reducing congestion within the campus and on Forest Street. At Acibet, students from the electrical wiring program work directly with city officials to complete projects in our community. Students are involved in the planning stages of each project, which includes interacting with city and town officials regarding permitting and inspection procedures, while also allowing them to focus on meeting national electrical code requirements and industry installation methods. At the New England Innovation Academy, a new part of the campus was renovated to help amplify the academic and co-curricular experience by adding interactive student zones, a state-of-the-art lecture hall, upgraded fitness space, and a top-tier eSports facility. And last, but certainly not least, in school news, we were excited to see the Marlboro Rotary Club awarded 10 students throughout the city with scholarships totaling $25,000. Coming up in Marlboro, the Labor Day Parade, bed races, and Greek festival are upon us, and residents are encouraged to join the city at Polar Park for a Woo Sox game as part of their town takeover series on September 13th. The food truck and arts festival will be held on September 10th, and the Rotary Club is once again joining forces with the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce for their recycling event on September 30th. You can find links with information on all of these stories and more in the description of our YouTube video. We also encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our new content that we're working hard to provide for you. I'd like to thank you for joining us for this month's edition of Marlboro City Happenings and whether you're a resident or a visitor, a small business owner, or an employee of one of our large corporations, or maybe you're someone who's just interested in our community, we want to hear from you. You can visit our website, send us an email, or give us a call. You can also follow us on our social media at Marlboro EDC, where we focus on sharing and creating content, especially designed with Marlboro in mind.